and welcome to the live stream whether you are joining me live now or you're catching me on the replay i'm really glad that you're here in this video i'm looking at different live streaming software so the best live streaming software and i'm i've been doing a couple of live streams today and i'll do a couple of um options so that Sorry, I'm getting distracted by all of the comments. Um, I'm, I'm doing a couple of reviews of software options. So I'm doing a review. This one will be on StreamYard. I did one on BeLive and I have another one coming up on Ecamm Live. So different live streaming options and we're reviewing them. Not only are we reviewing them, but we're also looking at what it looks like inside. So you can have a, you know, you can see for yourself and then you can make a decision on which live stream software is right for you. So let's get into this um, live stream uh, without any further ado for. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah Nguyen and I help small business owners, coaches and consultants build their business, grow their income and impact using video on social media. Big fan of live streaming. Um, make sure that you check out the links in the description because I'll go back and I will also add um, all of the timestamps and I will add links to any resources that we mention in this video and all of the goodness happens in the description, as you know. So let's go over and have a look at StreamYard. Let's talk a bit about their pricing um, to start off with. Now, StreamYard has a free and a pay and paid plans. Obviously, they are a company who provide a service. So paid plans are kind of important to generate income so they can provide us these services. With the free version of um, StreamYard, you get you know, the ability to run your live streams that you have their branding on it and you have some limits. Whereas with the paid option, you get the ability to add your own logos, you get your ability to add your own images and overlays, and you also get the ability to multi-stream as well. So I really like StreamYard in the sense that it allows you to multi-stream. I'm a big fan of doing something once and having many benefits. <laughs> so multi-streaming is one which is definitely a time saver and that has made a big change to me in terms of creating content um, really efficiently. So a big fan of it. So thumbs up to StreamYard for doing that. Now, this is all nice and well, this is all well and nice, but what does it actually look like? Um, and let's have a look at that now. So we're going to go into StreamYard. So the interface is really clean and the interface is really, um, it's not confusing. So you go into StreamYard and you can set up the pages that you want to, or the accounts that you want to live stream to really easily. And then when you go to broadcast, um, you go to create a broadcast. So it's, I find that nice that they've given you just what you need. Um, there's not all this chaos where you need to figure out where on earth do I need to be. But more importantly, once you have logged into um, uh, StreamYard and you want the action to start happening, this is what it looks like behind the scenes. Now, I've got what you see here is the, um, I guess, the stream. And then one of the things that you can do with BeLive is you can add guests. So if you wanted to do an interview, if you wanted to have someone present as well, all of the, the ability to do that is really easy, which is um, one of my favorite things about StreamYard. Now I'm going to remove my face so that it's not confusing for me and for you. So this is StreamYard. And in order to add people to your live stream, to have them as a guest, to have them present, in the bottom option, in the bottom bar here, you'll see there's this invite option. And then when you click on that, it gives you the ability to um, generate a link. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So this is the link. And once you've generated that link, you can send it to your guest and they will be able to then log into the live stream and be added. So I've got um, David who is joining me as a guest so that I can demo this feature here. So he's gone ahead and clicked on the link and set it up. And once I'm ready to add him to the live stream, I just hover over it and select add to live stream. And now David's live um, on the live stream. And I have the option to display it as 50-50 on um, the screen or I can toggle between the other options. So I can go a little bit back, I can go um, having smaller or I can switch it around. Um, 
and have it display, you know, or have him take up the entire screen. So I like the ability that it's really quick and easy to add a guest. You're not fumbling around with a Skype link, which you have to then connect. You give your guests one link and they click on it and they set themselves up like that. So it's really easy to add them to the live stream. And then you have the options to um, choose how you want them to display, um, which is nice. The thing that I find frustrating with um, live stream software is when they don't give you the ability, like in this case, to control the size of how your guest appears. So you get to choose the sizes that they've got, but you can't like drag their video size to be the width and height that you want it to be. So it's a limitation, but it's not, um, I don't think it's, a, uh, I don't think it's a showstopper, but it's really easy to add them. Um, and then like, I also get the option to mute them if they're being noisy or if they're <laughs> talking and I don't want them to talk, I can mute them as the host. And once I'm ready for them to leave the live stream, I can just remove them like that. So that's a really easy way of, um, I guess, using a stream yard and being able to add people to the live streams. And then I can like kick them from the studio as well. So I'm gonna kick guest and they'll completely be out of the, the live stream. So that's really cool. So I really like that ability to add people to your um, live stream really easily because there's nothing worse than going live. There's already a lot going on. You have to keep an eye on the feed. You have to keep an eye on the sound. And then you have a guest coming on and them struggling with it. Like that, it's really stressful. So this makes it really easy, which I really like. The other feature that I like um, with StreamYard is that you can share your screen. So a common question I'm always asked is, um, how do you share your screen? So I'm going to go down to share screen. I'm gonna click on that. And once I do that, there's some advice here for me, but I get to choose whether I want to share um, which screen. So if you have multiple monitors, you can choose one screen or the other. You can also choose a particular tab or an application. So I'm going to choose um, an application And now that I'm sharing this, once again, like with how we had when we were adding guests into the live stream, you can choose to have it as, um, you can choose to add them, add them to the stream. You can choose to have it um, full screen, or you can choose to have yourself in the picture as well. So you've got a couple options with um, sharing the screen. So a few sizes, there's that size, there's that size, or there's full um, width. So the other limiting thing that I don't like, no, I don't like, the, the limiting thing that I find with StreamYard is that once again, you can't control the size to be of the screen to be what you want it to be. So you can choose between these three options, which is great because, you know, for the most part, this is probably what you really need either for your screen to be full screen or whether to have you on the side or not, um, or there's this alternative here. but you don't get the option to choose. I can't drag this screen anywhere like I can in um, some other software, but that's not a showstopper. You can still share the screen really easily. And I definitely think this um, makes the, the software really powerful because it gives you another way of communicating, sharing and demonstrating your expertise. Also within StreamYard, um, what I like about StreamYard is you can also um, play around with banners. So adding text, big one that people always want to, people ask me about with live streams, how do you add text to the live stream? Um, I'm just gonna make sure that I can still see this feed because it's being blocked by another app on my screen. Okay, so to add text, on the everything happens in StreamYard on the right hand side. So if I click on banners, then I can add banners which run across the bottom of the screen and I can set up multiple banners so that these can be different talking points and when I'm ready for them to display I just click on them um, when I'm ready for them to go away I click on it again and then if I want to add more I just select create banner and then I just type the text I want and then it appears and there was another option there scrolling and click off you and if I wanted to add a scrolling option like you see on those infomercials then I could do that as well so they call it a, a ticker so that's 
you know, all happens from the banner section where you can add multiple text elements and then just click on them when you're ready to add them and click on them again when you're ready to make them disappear. Um, the other thing that you can do in StreamYard is optimize and optimize. Um, you customize the colors. This is on the paid plan only. So in terms of the brand colors, um, I have chosen this color, but if I was to, I can choose any um, color in the color spectrum really. So if I wanted to go pink, I could, if I wanted to go blue, I could, and this would change the color of the banners. So now that's blue because I've switched it over. So you get the ability to um, customize the colors in that sense. You also get the ability to add your own logo. So that's an example of where it would display on the screen. Um, you would have their logo if you're on the free plan. If you are on the paid plan, then you can add your own and you would just literally um, be able to upload a logo file. Um, and that's my one there as an example of how to do it. Now, the other thing is overlays. So I use overlays a lot in my live streams as you may or may not realize. Um, example of an overlay some text images, essentially an overlay is an image and then it allows you to just add, you know, some more visuals to your live stream. So you've got the ability to add your own um, and literally to add your own overlay, you go to brand under the overlay section, click on the plus section here. And here's an example of one of mine. So I always have my um, cheat sheets as an overlay that I can add to my live stream where it's appropriate. And this is another example of a overlay that I add. So just, you know, another visual cue to break it up. So it's not just my talking head um, the entire time. Um, you may have noticed as well that you can add a background. Um, if you just have it black, then what happens is when you're toggling between your guest or having multiple, um, if you're presenting, then the background will appear as black by default. Otherwise you can add a colored background. So I'll go and um, share that screen again. So as you can see, the background is now black, but I could change it to be um, something else. So when I do add, um, you know, uh, my screen share, then it will be that in the background. I'm losing my words. I've been doing way too many um, <laughs> live streams today. Uh, the other thing is um, you can have your name displayed at the bottom or you can hide it. So I think in terms of being able to use it, definitely very, very easy to use. And you've got a lot of powerful features that allow you to add your own images, add your own text and to kind of create your live stream show the way that you want it to appear. Now, how easy is it to go live? Um, as I said, everything happens on the right hand side. So to go live from StreamYard, on the right hand side, we click go live. And then they don't give you a countdown, so you need to be ready. And then the button will go red and then you're live. So it gives you a little bit of a sign here and then that's it, you're live. Um, you can see the comments in the chat on the right hand side here. Um, so you can see comments that come through from any guests um, and you can add them to the live stream as well. So if, you know, someone's saying something amazing, you can add it to live stream or hide it. And just as usual with live streaming, you can see the, in the left-hand corner here, they've got a timer and you can see the count of people um, on that actual live stream. So that essentially wraps up, um, I guess, my crash course of an overview of StreamYard. And once you're ready to end the live stream, all you do is select the end broadcast button and then you can end the broadcast. Um, they'll ask you to rate it. And that's it. And you're no longer live. You can see that it's ended here. Um, and then that essentially wraps that up. So let's go back to here, back to me, back to me. So in terms of StreamYard being a uh, option for live streaming to allow you to have the ability to customize your live stream. And um, I, I think that these lives, all of these different live stream software options, what they really offer is a better user experience. So if you've used the Facebook, the native Facebook live streaming software, you'll know that it's it's clunky and it's clumsy and it's not nice to use and it's not easy to use and you have to figure so many so so much out. But when you have third 
party software like StreamYard, it makes it easier. So then you don't have as much resistance to go live. So I, I definitely advocate using live streams, stream software to make life easier for you and to give you all the functionality that you get um, that you wouldn't normally get if you weren't using software if that makes sense. So do I recommend StreamYard as an option for live streaming? Yes, definitely. I didn't demo every single feature of StreamYard. I just did an overview of the features that I know that I use, that I find useful and that people ask me, you know, how do you add that to a live stream so that you could see for yourself how to do it in StreamYard. And I, you know, it's really easy to use. Um, I think in terms of pricing, it's fair for what you get. Like there's a lot of technology that goes into it. So I think the pricing is pretty fair and um, that's pretty, pretty much it. So um, hello and thanks for everyone for joining. So I see quite a few people here. So I hope that this was really useful. Hi, Cheryl. Um, thanks for joining us. Hi, David. And um, I am doing, as I said, did I say it? I can't remember now. Um, all the live streams and days are merging into one. So I've got another live stream coming where I'm talking about Ecamm Live. So I've talked about Be Live in a video. So check out the description because I review that and give you an overview. So we've done this one, which is StreamYard, and I've got another one coming for you, which is um, Ecamm Live. So watch out for that. And um, if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for more ways to grow your business, if you're looking to get started with live streaming, make sure you grab my Facebook Live cheat sheets. It's a super simple guide to help get you up and streaming on Facebook Live, particularly if you've never hit record before. And I also have a roadmap in there that shows you how to convert your viewers into buyers. So make sure that you get that if you haven't got it already. I'll add the link on the screen and somewhere in the description. In the description it should already be there and i will see you on the next live stream thanks for joining me and i'll see you for